Moving on to quiz review part two, numbers four through four onwards. Uh, so this one's asking about sodium chloride. Okay, so if we break that down, that is sodium and chlorine mixed together. Okay, um, so you cannot break that down further. Sodium chloride, it comes as it is. Okay, it is table salt, right? Um, so this is not a mixture because you cannot break down salt into its components. Okay, so that means it's a pure substance. So what does that mean? That means it's made of one substance. Okay, so is it a mixture? Nope, nope. Okay, pure substances are made of more than one substance? Nope. Okay, so with multiple choice tests, quite often uh, you eliminate the wrong answers to end up finding the right one. Okay, uh, milk is a what? Mixture, because of why? So without even look, reading at the question, okay, let's figure out which ones don't belong here. Okay, heterogeneous. Can you see different substances? That's true. Okay, uh, homogeneous. It appears to be one substance. That's true. Okay, um, homogeneous. Can see different substances? Nope. Okay, that's totally false. And heter heterogeneous, heterogeneous, however you want to pronounce it, appears to be one substance. Nope. Okay, so right off the bat, it's definitely not C. It's definitely not D. And we haven't even looked at our example yet. Okay, so milk, we might need to um, ask if we don't remember exactly what milk is made of. Okay, but in the examples in class we discussed milk has little fat droplets that are suspended throughout. Okay, um, so that would be a homogeneous mixture. Okay, because it appears to be one substance. It's all just one white liquid. Okay. Uh, to review that further, you want to make sure that you go back to section 1.2 okay, and review these, uh, this chart okay, and go through the, the worksheets you did before and make sure you're familiar with most of the common examples okay? because um, you might see them again on tests. So a difference between an element and a compound. Okay, So this one would have been a compound, right? sodium and chlorine, okay, just sodium by itself, chlorine by itself. Okay, those would be elements. So what's the main difference? Element is a pure substance and a compound is a mixture? No, nope. they're both pure substances. Has, uh, right over, here's another one that says mixture. Let's cross that out. Uh, can be made into a mixture? Well, maybe. Okay, but this one makes the most sense here. Okay, one building block, like one atom. Think of the blocks on the periodic table. Okay. Well, a compound has more than one. So elements have only one thing. Okay, compounds have more than one thing. So we're going to go with B on that question. Okay, uh, moving into our molecular models, we're going to have to switch over to section two. Okay, in our textbooks and our notes and our websites, wherever we find our information. Okay, and go to our history of the atomic theory. So we need to remember, based on our models, based on our videos, okay, who did what. So who came up with each thing. Okay, I'm going to pause it there and start a new video for the next section.